Hey, look, there's somebody else here. Oh, what do you know? Nobody's home. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of The Planet Crafter. Uh, I'm just cleaning out my inventory right now, I decided to do a little bit of exploring between episodes. Uh, as you can see by the top uh, right there, we're getting close to the next big milestone, which happens to be lakes. And look how big that water, that little pond that we started with has become. It's almost re reached the grass line there. Uh, one of the things I noticed too, uh, after the last episode, I was having a look at the, the flower spreader. Uh, over that little patch over there. I was trying to figure out like why was I not getting flowers? And it took me took me a little while looking around until I kinda moused over it and I saw open flowers better. So I opened it up and I realized oh you can grow the flowers. So now I have flowers. And for basically what I think is going on is this thing right here is actually replacing uh, that thing over here. Uh, it just has a higher range and if I bring this up uh, more oxygen and more biomass considerably more biomass but it uses a lot more power now what I want to do is I want to start producing a lot of these uh, they do require fertilizer that's why I got the eggplant going and the algae and uh, the algae is actually growing pretty good we do have the algae tier 2 sp algae spider tier 2 which can actually make and we're actually going to place that down right now and gather up any more algae that's available uh, I have done a little bit of exploring um, I saw in whose base was it I think my uh, video was I think it was in uh, Dre's video, I uh, found a base in an area um, somewhere over there. I kind of got lost a couple of times going back there and back, but uh, I haven't actually explored anything there. I was going to save that for on camera. Uh, I also did find another cave that, uh, a couple more caves that have uranium and iridium. I'm not exactly sure where they are. What was that? Um, thirst. What did I have? Thirst and food. Sure. Uh, but yeah, basically a K for uranium, K for uh, iridium, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to need iridium, or uranium actually, because I need to make a couple more reactors. Uh, I do have enough for, I don't have enough for one right now, but we will soon, because we're going to go and check out that cave. Um, I also think there's a shortcut to, uh, over in the spike biome there, to get to where we're going to go. Uh, I'll just make sure I keep uh, replanting these eggplants. Um... As someone stated, the only thing that they really uh, actually eat is the beans, but you find so much of the space food anyways that I'm sure you don't actually need the beans anyways. So there is that. Uh, but what else was I going to do? Oh, yeah, we're going to build this. So I need fertilizer, two bioplast nuggets. Let's go and grab that. Uh, did I have any water crafted? No, I did. I do have one fertilizer. Uh, well, let's see if I get. Since uh, I've progressed a few stages, I got, uh, like I said, I got that unlocked. There was, oh yeah, the Biodome 2. Might actually look at making it that. That produces a lot of oxygen. Wow. Uses a lot of power too, so we're going to need some uranium. Big time. Uh, yeah, I want to see if I can actually unlock anything yet. No. So I guess I have to wait for an update for that. So let's uh, actually get this Biodome Tier 2. I need bacteria samples. Now, what did I need for those? Off to the lab! I really do gotta rebuild this and make it a little bit more accessible. Uh, what did I need for it? Bacteria or mutagens? Bacteria. Algae and water. Okay. Um, that was another one. Did I not unlock that? Uh, should be... Lake Water Collector? Or that gets unlocked later on. Let me run back over here quickly. And then I should probably go get the uranium going. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it is... Not your drill four. Oh, yeah. That's actually coming up pretty soon. Uh, so let's clear my inventory. And hit the right buttons, of course. It would be me if I didn't. Uh, grab that. Probably grab one water. I don't think I have any water. Oh, I do. It's outside. Not gonna worry about oxygen. Uh, maybe I will take a little bit of food. I'm hoping the lake water collector has a bigger inventory and can hold more, like has a chest on it or something. Uh, what do I have for food? Hmm. Nope. Oh, what do I have in here? Nothing. 
I have something somewhere. I'm not eating that plant. Eggplant is for special purposes. We'll eat the old beans. Okay, we'll do that, and... Uh, let's say... How much do I need for the lake water collector? Uh... No, it's actually for the biodome. Uh... Still gonna need power. Let's go get some uranium. Yes, that's what we're doing. Uranium. Let's just get in the water out of my inventory. I'll take three, and... Off we go. Alright, so... Uh... This is Lake BC. It is almost done. I think when we hit 50, 50 MTI is when it's final. Uh, I'll probably end up repurposing these, take these out, but I've been noticing like there's a lot of algae that was growing underneath here, so having three of them wasn't entirely necessary. Come on, to be out of the water. There we go. Now, I haven't really explored this area too much. I have run over here to find food and, uh... Oh. Oh, well, the chest is under the water. Uh, food, and I did snag a couple of solar panels while I was over here. I can see they definitely have to work on that. I haven't explored too much of this area, obviously, because of this. But I do know that there should be a cave entrance somewhere. I'm trying to figure out where it was. This brings me back here. Oh, I thought that was the entrance. But if we go this way, we will get there eventually. Uh, no, this was actually the crash site. Let's go to the crash site first. Or, veiled outpost, whatever you want to call it. It'll just take me a moment to get there. Hopefully I can get there in time. I'm going to have to stop here and top of the oxygen. Uh, basically, it's beyond that zone, so I'll bring it back when we get there. Okay, here we are. And of course, like every time I come here, I have gotten lost and I almost perished. I had to build another shelter, which I can't even see right now, because I couldn't find this one. And this is actually the one I built uh, when I was here earlier. Uh, just because of oxygen. But I believe... I believe this is what happens when you don't actually place beacons at points of interest that you actually care about. Uh, I think it was over this way. Somewhere over here. And we do have the Lake Water Collector. I'm actually glad I came with an empty inventory so I could actually put, uh, build that. Actually, I think it was just over here. Oh. It's somewhere. Okay, it passed over that, so it's over here. At least I think so. Glad I brought food, too. There we go. Here we go. So here we are. Hydration. And that's why I brought water. And I guess I'll eat while I'm here. Because maybe we'll find something inside the box. Because I haven't actually looted this place yet. Uranium. Good. I'm going to take the Lerma seed. Because the only place we can actually find them is finding them. And I have a new message. And I have no idea what it is. Because I'm not home. Now I could dismantle all this stuff and get free stuff out of it. But I don't care. Uh, this iron was actually from some doors here. I dismantled those. Uh, we'll take the seed. I uh, will take them all. We're probably gonna be need a lot of them because I'm gonna plan them. Be planning on building a planting a lot of grass, not building. Now what is this? Oh, that's a old wind turbine. Okay. Now I haven't actually explored any of this. Let's go ahead and take the door off. I think I, think I opened the chest. I did open it. I just didn't take anything. And then, there's actually a ladder here. Now, let's see if this is actually anything. Now, I wonder what happens if I try to dis uh, disassemble this while I'm inside. I do not know. I'll take the eggplant seed because I'll probably need it. And the seed, of course. And it goes down further. And there's a message. Ooh. Alright. Okay, I wasn't expecting that my landing site would be so bad. Uh, but there's no reason I won't be able to terraform this big rock. I have enough knowledge about the process to succeed. All I have to do is follow the steps, hopefully, for, hope for good uh, good weather and not too much meteors. Can't be that hard. Sure. Neither is staying alive. Um, I gotta find my shelter. Hang on, I'll be right back. Actually, what I could probably do... Uh, see if I can build enough right here. Titanium. Silicon. Oh, 
Actually, I probably can. No, I can't. Uh-oh. Iron. And I'm out of silicon. Fortunately, I respawned in the one I had already created. So now I gotta find my stuff. And, uh, anyway, uh, I'll go take all this stuff back to... Actually, we gotta go inspect this stuff. Let me regroup and I'll be right back. Okay, we learned something from this. Should probably look at getting that compass mod just <laughs> so I don't get too, too lost. At least I'll find some bearings. Oh, let's uh, go fill up my oxygen quickly. And we'll head back down. Okay. So now, on to the ladder to make sure I'm not in uh, build, not in deconstruct mode. Okay, so I grabbed all that. Let's go downstairs again and see what we have in here. We've got some veggie tubes. Uh, there's nothing in them, I don't think. No, nope, let's uh, deconstruct this and that. And another message. Uh, it's been harder than I expected. The outside is toxic, and the seeds won't really grow unless I. It won't really grow on the ground. My calculations tell me that the planet planet positions should be. Sorry, best to terraform it in around two years. I just have to survive until then. Sure, I'm sure you did. And it goes down further. What else do we find? Uh, ooh, the Lerma seed. Cool. And in here, lots of stuff. I'm gonna take that, even though I can't use it. I uh, don't really need more an eggplant. Wow, this place is big. Another message. Uh, and where am I supposed to find more iridium on this planet? I scout everywhere without chance. There's ice everywhere. It's critical that I find that I found some to start heating this planet. Everything outside is freezing. I have to sleep. Tomorrow will be better. The sentence for some reason is so small and hum inhumane. I don't don't deserve it. Oh, the sentence for this. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what else we got here? Uh, what is this? Anything I can do with it? Nope. All right, off to the next room. And hopefully, I don't run out of oxygen. And it goes further down. Okay, let me replenish my oxygen. And back we are in the storage cache. Anything good? Oh, I'll take the fertilizer. Drop off all this iron because don't need it. Why does that chest only have five slots? Why does that one have seven? Is it damage? Is that what's going on? Do not know. I don't need beans. I got beans. Ooh, I'll take that and that. You can take that and... That's it for this room. Now, I noticed when I was running back upstairs to get oxygen, there's another door here. So let's see what's in here. I probably only need to take out one door, but that is fine. And what do we have in here? Autocrafter, oh yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, that's gonna be psycho mode there. We won't worry about that. Uh, psycho mode all the way. Yep. Yeah. And what do we have? No room. Take the iridium, the sulfur, and the aluminum. Uh, thank you. And that is it. Now, this is kind of a weird thing. Aha! I knew there'd be a secret panel in here. Alright, uh... You sent me here to die. I knew this. It was impossible. You don't even care. All you care is prop... All you care about is profit and colonization. Whoever thought this was a good idea, go to hell. The plan was never forgiveness. Be, be cursed Sentinel Corp. Someone had a bad day. Oh, loads of goodies. Alright, uh, I gotta fill up my oxygen, let me sort out my stuff, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back after getting lost for the millionth time over there. Uh, yes, I did perish and I had to go and get my stuff again. But yes, this is, uh, these are the flowers I put in here. I was, like I said, I was messing around, I just happened to notice a prompt to open it up. So I put these in, but I noticed when you change the flowers, it has to regrow them again. But I'm pretty sure that replaces the grass better, so we're gonna get a whole bunch of those going. And, uh, I did find another seed. I found a, a golden seed. I haven't actually seen this one grow yet because I didn't actually have it. Uh, it was... Which one was it? It was... Where did you go? Yes, here. The Orima plant. Unless that's what I've got up here. 
Not 100%. I can't even really remember. Is that what this one is? Oh, that's the wrong one. That's the Nolna. So it's a slightly different plant. Cool. Alright, so first of all, let's see what we can do about the power situation and the inventory situation. At least super alloy is super easy to find now. Okay, uh, I got a whole bunch of seeds. I actually want to see what the Lerma seed looks like too when it grows. Alright, so we have that. I have... I need 14 ir iridium. Or uranium, so there's that, and then... That's two, and then... Five of those. We can make one reactor for now. That should hold the power situation. Uh, let's see here, because I want to get this going. That is 27 power. Uh, we got the lake water collector as well, since that's been unlocked. Uh, right here. Actually fairly cheap and I use for bioplastics. Uh, yeah, we should have enough to do this. Uh, I need water. Explosive powder. Explosive powder was... Hmm. Let's see if we can remember the recipe on this. Uh, two sulfur and one iridium. And I just happen to have that. Awesome. I am aware, too, that I can launch off a, a rocket to get more... <laughs> I actually forgot to put, put that there. Um, yeah. Launch off a rocket to get more uranium. But I started thinking about, like, the water. I'd probably have to go into the water, if swimming's even possible in this game, to go and get it. Oh, and then I gotta go over here and then make one of those. When I get one more piece of uranium. Uh, in the right chest, of course cabinet, whatever you want to call it. And I also need water. Run outside and grab the water. And there we go. There it is. Oh. My jetpack is almost too fast sometimes. And sometimes not fast enough. Okay, we'll craft that and then go out here and we'll place another reactor down. I'm trying to get a few more going because uh, if we're going to start terraforming this place drastically, we're going to need uh, some more power. A lot of it. And I need super alloy. Of course I do. It'd be too easy if I didn't have that, right? And we do have it, thank God. Alright, uh, I guess I'll just put it right next to this one here. Get nice, pretty f pink, p nice pretty pink flowers in the way. Go check on the power situation, which should be, I think, around 10... 30... 10... 50... So we got... We have some buffer. Alright, what do we need for the lake water collector? Magnesium, super alloy, aluminum, and bioplastic. I have two bioplastic. What do I need to make bioplastic? I'm assuming algae and something, right? All the way back over here. Uh, silicone and mushrooms. Ew. Mushrooms. Might have to wait for some mushrooms. Okay, plant that. Actually, I might have a mushroom here. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe not. No mushroom today. Not yet, anyways. Uh, let me deal with a few things and I'll be right back. I just realized I need a lot of mushrooms because I need two bioplastic for the, the uh, tier 2 algae generator. And, or, yeah, I'll generate it, and then I need three for the liquid water collector. Can dismantle that and get one back. Which I might actually do. I was going to replace those anyways. And then the flower splitter, we just need super alloy and fertilizer. So maybe... Maybe I'll go do a little bit of exploring. Let me go look for some uh, bioplastic, and I'll be right back. Okay, I haven't found too much. I decided I'm just going to have to grow the, grow the mushrooms myself, but I think while we're waiting, uh, let's go print some, plant some pretty little flowers. Uh, I explored all the, the three wrecks, this one here, and th that one, and the big one over in the back there. I didn't find too much, but I did get the golden seed, so we'll probably plant that one first. Uh, but what we'll do, like I said, we're going we're gonna to wait on that, but we're going to convert some of those uh, grass spreaders into flower spreaders. Uh, which means I'll get the Lerma seed back. I don't get the fertilizer back, so I'm going to make the fertilizer, and that's what I need the eggplant for. So we'll do that. 
we'll go run over here. We'll make fertilizer. Again, I really do have to rebuild this base. Oh, I need sulfur. Uh, let me craft those and I'll be right back. Okay, I have pretty much everything on me. Uh, I also found two rocket engines too, so we might actually be able to use that to launch off some rockets to get some uranium if we need to. Uh, I was going to do quickly check this. Oh, there's a moss stage. Interesting. Okay, anyways, uh, let's go plant some flowers. I think I have enough to get everything going. Uh, what I've done is I have one of each seed on me, including the golden seed. I don't know if the multiplier actually multiplies the oxygen coming off the actual gra uh, flower spreader itself, or that's only in the veggie tubes. Not too sure, but uh, let's find out. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the water level. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a nice little beach set up here. I forgot the super alloy. I'll be right back. Okay. So, I should have enough room in my inventory for this, I'm hoping. Uh, I could probably just craft one right now. No, I need the magnesium. Magnesium, magnesium. Uh, I have also noticed too, I have not seen ice anywhere, I don't think. So it's possible that the planet's warmed up enough where we don't get ice forming or staying frozen on the surface, I should say. Alright, so... Yeah, this has a huge area. So, do that. And then here, let's plant the golden seed. Okay. And it shows the growth process. So that is doing... Oh, that does multiply it. Really? There you can see the oxygen is like 161. And that seed does six times. So this is producing real good. Alright, so now let's... Uh, Oh, I don't actually have to take anything out because there's nothing in there. So we'll take that one out. We'll place another one. We'll place this one right here. And then in this one, we will put the Tusca Seed. That was the pretty little white flower we had in there before. We'll take this one out. And what do we have in here? Another Tusca Seed. All right, uh, let's get... I need water. Of course I need water. And of course, I need water too. Oh, the seed dropped out. Ha ha. Alright, and then we'll place that one there. And here we will play, put uh, Pestera. Pick that up. And then. The inventory space. I also need to take care of my vitals. Well, there's that part. And the other two. And wow, that is actually growing fast. Told you watch grass grow was pretty easy. Mind you, I think these are overlapping, so that's probably what, what's doing it. So deconstruct that one. And then you will stick this one. Yeah, let's go up and let's get a nice little grassy hill going here. Can't really see how far that's overlapping, but just go right there. Pick you out. Make sure I have the inventory to take. I don't think I will. And I'm missing the water, so we're gonna have to. Take you out. Aha, I knew it would drop on the ground. And we'll fly over here and we'll get another patch of lovely little flowers going right about there. And then here. I haven't put the shangas in yet, I don't think. Oh, wait. That's a golden seed. Okay, so no, I haven't put them in. Oh, look at that. Almost looks livable. Almost. Okay, now what am I missing to build one more? Nothing. Aha. Probably gonna make loose power on and place this thing down, but we'll find out pretty soon here. And we don't. Hmm. Well, I've got all these Lerma. I don't know if I actually know. Let's not put the Lerma in. Let's do something that has a good multiplier. Ah, we'll get the... Whatever those things are called. Uh, Tusca. Yes. Alright, let's head up back to the base and see how we're doing. Wow, would you look at that? The oxygen's just climbing away. Uh, let's see where we're at at that. Uh, power is holding up pretty good. 
Uh, let's see when the next unlock unlocks are. We have to drill at 41,000 heat. I was thinking about building more heat, but we do have the biodome tier 2. We could get going. We do have the, the power for that. And we got the flowers better. The gas extractor is next. We do have the wa late water collector and then the pulsar quartz. Um, which I have absolutely no idea what it's about. Alright, so, uh, let's see here. That's what we're going to build. We're going to need... We need bioplastic nuggets for the algae generator and the lake water collector. So I'm pretty sure, because I'd like to get two of these and one of those. I have three of these out there right now, so I'd have to make four. Uh, let me see where the mushrooms are and I'll bring you back. Alright, well, it needs a. I need to get rid of that railing, what I need to do. It needs a little bit more time, so let's head back down here. Let's take, pick up these uh, oxygen collect or algae generators. Let me get back that out. And we'll place a tier do two down here. For now I'm just gonna do one of them until we start generating more bioplastic. Now let's uh I was gonna say can I stand on it, but apparently not. Swimming is not a good thing in this game. Okay. Uh where are these things now? See if we're gonna get to them. Oh, you don't let me deconstruct them when I'm on it, huh? Okay. And now let's see if I can place this without drowning. Oh my God, this game is so early access. Now, does this have an inventory? No, it doesn't. But I hear a storm coming. Always fun. I'm gonna leave that one there. Alright, so basically I need to... Wait a minute. Did I have bioplastic on me? Oh no, I did actually dismantle two of them, that's right. Alright, well, I'm gonna wait on these mushrooms and I'll bring you back when the storm passes. I forgot I had two of them already. Now I know, so I just need to make one more. Now, what did I need for the bioplastic again? Um, algae and silicon. Oh, water and silicon. Fair enough. I gotta run all the way back over here. Uh, yes, uh, a new base reorganization is definitely in order. Alright. Okay, I did. I did pick it up. Okay, so we'll go all the way back over here. Buy on plastic. And then, I should be able to build a water collector. Yes. Okay. So now, we go all the way back down the bottom of the hill. We should do something for science. I think my base overhangs that lake just enough. That we should be able to jump off and land in the water. Nope. Not even close. But let's yolo it. I knew the jetpack was here in my life. Not really. And what are we doing down here? We are collecting water. That's what we're doing now. I usually come down this way, so... Let's just put it right over here. And drain what's left of my power. Probably not. Okay, what do you do? Okay, so you have eight slots. Does it show up progress? No, it doesn't. But it collects eight water instead of four. So does that. I changed the beacon to red too because I had trouble seeing it. I'm even wondering if I'm going to have to be able to see that one too. Might have to change it to blue or something. Something that tends to stick out a little more. Come on, I need you. Take you out. Run along back here. And then uh, let me see if I've unlocked anything recently. Oh, well, that's right. We were doing the tier 2 biodome. And for the tier 2 biodome, I just need algae and water. Fortunately, I have algae, and I have water. And then what else do I need? I need... 
Uh, two fertilizer. And fortunately, I have the eggplant for that and any more algae. Let me get those stuff together and we'll go place that thing down. Okay, I have everything. I went down there and there was a lot of algae down there already. So, everything is good now. I'm thinking, I want to try to get to that place. I do have to move those screens. But let's see if I can place this here. No, it won't. Hmm. Alright, well, then we'll uh, just utilize this large compartment then. Put this here, and then a biodome. Oh, I need two, two, two super alloy. I thought I only needed one. Run all the way back. And I, of course, I go to the wrong locker. Okay. It's gonna be nice to use my jetpack, but that doesn't work in here because I uh, get stuck on the ceiling. Okay. A tier 2 biodome. Now that's a biodome. Can I actually do anything with this? Oh, hello. What's this? Bruce's tree bark. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Bruce's tree bark, and I have absolutely no idea what the tree bark is for. Hmm. This thing is actually pretty big. Let's have a look at it from the outside. Base is becoming a maze already. Alright. Let's actually go up on the roof and get a better view up here. Oh wow, that's definitely bigger. And I'm sure, I think that's doing like a crazy amount for the oxygen too. Generate a lot of biomass too. When was the next unlock in the, uh, the first biodome? That's the oxygen generator tier too. Oh yeah, we're getting the biomass rocket soon. Oh, it should be interesting to see. Let's see what that brings. Uh, I am waiting on that tree bark, so let me wait until this tree bark gets finished, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I decided to come down and have a look at the flowers. This is uh, the golden seed, and then this is the tusca, and they're actually quite similar. This is, uh, I would say, more like a poppy, and this one would probably be more like a... I have no idea what that would be. I thought I'd come and check, check out the flowers while we're waiting. Uh, the biomass rocket did get upgraded. Oh, you don't have a seed. Now you do. I like that app when the grass is growing. You put a seed in it, immediately they pop up, but it doesn't uh, you take the seed out and it gets rid of the grass. So they have to stay, but I think maybe we'll go have a look at that biomass rocket and see what's involved with that because I do have. Uh, Or is this actually green? What is going on here? Yeah. Probably just my imagination. Oh, I'm gonna starve. Oh no, I better go eat one of the many bags of food that I found. Fortunately, I've got like the fastest jetpack possible. Wait, we should go explore that cave a little more too. Uh, what are they doing? Uh, oh yeah, food. Uh, food is not in there. Food is not in there. It is there. Uh, drink that water too, since I grabbed it, and let's go see what we need for the biomass rocket. Since I have the rocket engine, uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna guess it's gonna involve uh, algae and bacteria sample. Let's see here. Oh no, tree bark. Tree bark and alarma seed and fertilizer. Which I guess makes sense. We'll put that together. Let's uh, see what's going on with that that tree bark. Okay, run over here to the maze that is my base, and we have tree bark. Now, can I actually do anything with this? I have no idea. Let's put it in a veggie tube. See what happens. Probably nothing. I wonder, if, I wonder if it'll actually work in a flower's better. Let's go check that out just for the sake of it. Go stick it in this one. No, because it's tree bark, not seed. Now, for that, I need fertilizer and an ulna. Fertilizer, not uh, ulna, it was uh, Lerma. Yes, Lerma. 
Jumps on that sound a little bit funny. How are we doing on the biomass? Alright, so we get the flowers put our tier 2. 500 kilos. And we're actually producing pretty good. Okay. Um, oh yeah, fertilizer. What do I need fertilizer again? Sulfur and eggplant. Let me do that and I'll be right back. Well, I'm impatient, so let's take this flower spreader apart. Please don't have inventory space. I have enough inventory space. Good. Alright, so I have the fertilizer, I have the seeds. Uh, I just need the rocket engine, and what else did I need? Let's find out. Uh, wish I could see. I wish the sun would come up, and I'm sure it will in a few seconds. Uh. Rocket engine super alloy. Can I push a button now? No object to launch. Like how it says object, not rocket. I wonder if we can throw something else on the pad and launch that. Can you launch me? Somebody hit the button, please. Thank you. Alright. Uh, I'll bring it back when it lights up. Okay, I'm back. And I'm just looking at the map here, and wouldn't you know, there's actually green green that I didn't do. No, it's just like a little river over here too, so that's kind of cool. But I thought that, thought that was looking a little green there. Uh, we should have enough light to go out now. Yes, we do. Uh, you know me, I always live in the dark. Let's go have a look at this. It is too. It has actually it has actually taken on the moss. Cool. I th yeah, I thought I was seeing something. I was thinking that like, uh, I was getting irradiated or something. Now, what was I doing? I was doing something. What was it? I was building a rocket. That's right. Get off this planet. I've done enough damage to it already. Whoever thought I could terraform this place I was clearly out of their mind. Uh, go launch a rocket first. We'll go explore the cave afterwards. I know that's getting unlocked. Okay, so we want a biomass rocket. Now does this one look different? I'm sorry, how is that supposed to survive in space? We'll find out. Now is this one going to send meteors hailing down on me? Or is this going to be like leaves falling from the sky? Now let's find out, shall we? Storm started off the quick on that one, and everything's going green. Okay, interesting. Let's go down and go down where it's safe. Oh, is that it? It's just uh, the sprinklings there. Oh, yeah, the particles, the magical. Particle rocket. Just launched off into space and it creates confetti. Cool. And I almost swear there's something going on with the water. Like you can sort of see it go cloudy. But while we wait, get some oxygen. Gotten all mossy in my base, too. Let's go check out the, the cave a little more. Oh, there's a hole in my cave. Alright, so this ice chunk is completely gone. Let's actually see if this goes anywhere. I have no idea if it does or not. Where does this go? Oh, yes. The shortcut and I'll take me to the uranium area too. I don't think there's anything else in this one. No. So, we don't need to go pop top up on this. I'm gonna see if we can find that other one. I'm pretty sure that other one was over here to the right. Nope, not there. That's just this. I don't think. No, I know what it was. It was where the big ship was. So, uh, let me get you back at where the caves are actually. So I'll meet you back at the base and or actually no. I'll go head off to the caves where they I think they are and I'll meet you there. Okay, uh, open them right. 
pretty sure this is it, but we've got the big ship to my right here. And along here, there's a couple of caves. One of them was for iridium, and there is another one further down for titanium, or um, uranium. One is iridium, one is uranium. Uh, I should probably actually pick up some stuff on some iron and titanium and silicon and all that stuff so I can build a shelter so I can breathe. Unfortunately, this stuff is like everywhere. So here's the first cave. Okay. Oh, that's iron, iron, iron. Uh, just need a silicon and one more titanium. Really? Where is it? There it is. Oh. There we go. If I click the right button. Okay. So, what we do? Uh, that. Build ourselves a little shed so we can breathe, somehow magically get oxygen. And let's go in here. Now, I believe this was super alloy, actually. Okay, this is the super alloy, so this isn't what I want. And it's raining. Of course it is. Whenever you go out for a walk, it always rains, right? Okay, now I think there was another cave further down here. Almost certain there was, yes, because I remember this this thing. And I believe I already grabbed what was in here. Uh, sure, we could always grab some more seeds. And now where is that cave? I could have sworn there was another cave around here. Somewhere, let me see where I can find it. I'll bring you back. Once again, I'm lost, but I will find my way. Uh, one, of the thing, one of the things I noticed about this game is it has an interesting way of telling you that you're going somewhere where you're not supposed to be. Basically, it completely blacks out all vision. It's basically telling you, hey, you're not supposed to be here, and you're not because you end up being behind the map and seeing things you're not supposed to see. But let me see if I can find this cave, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I haven't been able to actually find those caves. Um, I don't know where, they, I can't remember where they are. I think they they might actually be over in the spike, bi spike biome. A uh, place I haven't explored too much, but I have gone like all the way around trying to find it. I did find a, another cave that offers quart, or osmium and sulfur. Yes, I don't know why I thought it started with C. So, at least we have that, but I think I'll have to do some more investigating and maybe actually place a few beacons down so I don't get lost again. But yeah, for that we have the what else did we get? We actually got the tier three flowers better going. So let's let's actually get one of those going just because uh let's see, what do I need? I need fertilizer. Fertilizer. Let me uh let me get stuff together, I'll be right back. Okay. I have enough to make one fertilizer at least. I think that's what we'll do to end this episode is we'll go ahead and we'll put uh tier three grass better down. And go from there. As far as unlocks go, there's not much we can really do. Uh, the next one's going to be tier 3 heater and tier 4 drill, but we still got to produce more oxygen and more heat for that. Alright, let's find the lonely one. We will take you out of the picture. Okay, now we can go to tier 3. And put this right over here. So, ooh, fancy. Oh, they all look the same, never mind. All right, I'll put that one in, and that is producing a lot of oxygen, but apparently, and a lot of biomass, too. Look how fast those are growing. Look how green our planet is getting. Might have to go see a doctor about that. I can't be healthy, or we're doing something right. But anyways, I think it's going to be a place to call, good place to call it. The uh, video is definitely getting a little longer than usual. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.